Welcome to our tutorial about relational databases. In this tutorial, we'll incorporate grid view and list view controls in conjunction with a relational database. I've already brought the database in from our previous tutorial, and here we only have one table currently. It stores our users. The first name, the last name, and email address are the columns of our table. Now we're going to create two more tables for this database. One table will store information about the newsletter we're going to be sending to our users. The next table will store information regarding how many newsletters have been sent to each user. Let's right click, add new table. The first field we'll call newsletter ID. It'll be of the integer data type, and we won't allow null values in this column. The second field will be newsletter name. Data type we'll set to varkar50. And again, we won't allow null data in this column. The newsletter ID will be our primary key. Identity specification. Let's select yes. We're done with this table. Let's save it. We'll call it newsletters and click OK. Now let's insert one more table, add new table. Here we'll store the number of letters sent and which letters were sent. Our first column will be called num of sends ID. We'll make it an integer and we won't allow nulls. It'll be the primary key for this table. We'll also set the identity specification to yes. The second field here will be the user ID. This will be the foreign key for the users table and also we won't allow null data in this column. Our next column will store the foreign key for the newsletter table. The data type will make it integer and null values will be prohibited. Let's add another column. This column is going to store the number of letters that we've sent. Let's call it num of sends. We'll make it an integer, and nulls will be prohibited as well. Okay, we are done with this table now. Let's enter a name and save it. We'll call it num of sends, and click OK. Now we need to create some relationships between these tables. Let's use a diagram to do that. Add new diagram. Let's add all three tables. Now I'm going to drop the user ID column from the number of sends table onto the users table. Click OK, and my relationship is created. Now, let's grab the newsletter ID, drop it here. Click OK to accept the relation, and OK again. Once again, to learn more about relational databases, please see our chapters on this topic earlier in this course. It's important that you get a handle on some of the basic concepts before you try to create your own relationships, etc. Let's close this. Yes. Click OK again. Yes here also. Now we need to add some data to our table. We've already got some data in the users table as you see here. Let's right click and open the newsletters table. Okay, let's add some data here. We're going to create three newsletters. One will be the e-mini tab. The next will be options trading. Tab. And our third one will be Forex. Let's tab again to register. And we're done with this table. 
Now let's enter some data in the number of sends table. Let's show table data. User ID, 1. Newsletter ID, 1. And number of sends, let's say 5. User 1. Newsletter ID 2. Number of sends, let's say 7. Again, user 1. Letter 3. And number of sends, 6. Now we'll move on to user 2. Letter 1. Number of sends, 3. User 2. Letter number 2. Number of sends, 9. User 2. Newsletter number 3. And the number of sends, 4. Let's add one more user, user 3. The letter 1 and the number of sends, 2. User 3, letter 2, and number of sends, 7. Again, with user 3, we'll send him newsletter 3 five times. Tab to register. You see that the first three users received all three letters. The last column shows how many letters were sent to each user. User number one received five issues of the e mini newsletter. The same user received seven issues of options trading and six issues of Forex. Okay, at this point we are done with entering our data and the database, so let's move on. Let's expand the toolbox. We need to bring in the grid view control. Choose data source, that's our first step. Let's select database. Okay. Connection string. 